My name is Lamont Ratchford, uh, founder of Higher Definition Radio. Uh, doing this month, we want to take time to spotlight local businesses and private citizens who are doing great things in the community. Our goal for Higher Definition is to make sure that our community is well represented with positive and enlightening information. Uh, during this pandemic, it has been tough on a lot of people, and we want to make sure that we are representing our community well. My name is Dewan Feely. I'm from Rock Hill, South Carolina. I've been in business for myself now for roughly 17 years. I'm 100% self-employed. I started out uh, renting houses out, saved up money. Uh, I was able to buy my first rental property. And over the years, I was able to evolve and I was able to purchase more than one house, which put me in a position to where I was able to start multiple businesses here in the Rock Hill community. Uh, one being a uh, indoor inflatable center for kids. Uh, we call it Bounce Planet USA and Guaranteed Homes LLC, which I am the founder and owner of the business. The most properties I've ever owned at one time is 30. What made me go in business for myself is uh, I always had a hunger to, to uh, do things my way. Uh, I was never one of the individuals that wanted to go to college and you know get the great job. Uh, I always knew that I wanted to work for myself. Uh, I just feel like my time is valuable. There's no uh, job that can compensate me with what I feel like I'm worth making. Uh, so the hunger of just wanting to be my own boss, I just pushed to obtain my goals. The advice that I would give to my younger me is be patient. You have to understand that uh, your blessing is gonna come when it's your time. You can't speed up your blessing. You know, whatever God has for you is for you, but at that point in time, he's ready to give it to you. Don't get discouraged when things don't go the way you want it to go. Uh, you have to understand that you're not in control of everything, that uh, God is in control. So I would tell my younger self, be patient, wait your turn. And when your turn comes, I mean, you reach. Reach as far as you can reach to be successful. The most satisfying part of being an entrepreneur is that I can make money and help people all at the same time. I feel like there's nothing greater than being able to help my peers obtain home ownership or even to become a business uh, owner or entrepreneur. Uh, I think that brings me joy and the fact that I can get paid while helping someone is a blessing. My future plans uh, as far as growth for my company is to just excel and I have a goal to put as many people in houses that I can. Uh, right now we're doing a 50 unit project and my goal is to put 50 deserving people in those houses and uh, we're trying to help all walks of life. Anybody who feels like they're underprivileged or cannot be a homeowner, we called our company Guaranteed Homes because we strive to guarantee you home ownership. The guiding principle that I use daily is to just uh, trust God. That's it. <laughs> I can make up something, but what guides me, the guiding principle is just trusting God, believing that He will, will get me to whatever step that I'm trying to get to whatever goal, whatever mountain peak that I'm trying to get to, I just trust him. He is the principal, and so far it's worked for me. I would like to say uh, to, to anyone that's uh, ever thought about being your own boss, it's obtainable. Don't ever let no one tell you that you cannot make it, because you can, because I did. No matter where you come from, no matter what walk of life you, you, you come from or where you've been, no matter what your current state, you can make as much money as you want, it's very obtainable. Don't let no one tell you you can't, and you got to constantly research, constantly trust God, and constantly press if you want to make it.